going to the hospital for my first chemo treatment. Uh, to be honest, I'm not as nervous as I thought I would be, which is like kind of good, I guess, for me mentally. I'm obviously scared. However, today I'm not getting the first dose all in one day. So we're going today, I think they're going to put the pick line in and probably slowly start putting the chemo drugs in me. And then we also have to go back tomorrow morning for another full day and they'll give me the rest of the drugs. Oh my God, there's a dog running on the street. Oh my God, there's a doggy, look at it. What the hell? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh. That is... Maybe that's a sign that that's the dog that we need. Alex, how are you feeling? Pretty good. I feel like I'm chasing that dog, honestly, because I kind of want a dog right now. Me nice too. little companion. Um, should we go chase it or what? Do we have time? We got 10 minutes. We got 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go find it. Okay. Yeah? So we didn't find the dog. Sad, Alex. It ran away from us. Oh well. I think it ran into like a neighborhood though, so hopefully okay. it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even touch the phone. No pick today. Um, I think that they're gonna look at your arm for the pick. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if that's gonna happen wow. tomorrow. Probably, I guess probably tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. So today we'll just put an IV and looks like I can see from here you've got great veins. So that shouldn't be a problem. And is every treatment gonna be in this chair or? No. Um, it varies tomorrow. Um, you're gonna be getting the rituximab part. So usually with that uh, treatment, uh, especially the first one, we like to have you laying down. Okay. So you'll probably be on one of the stretchers by, uh, by the desk. Okay. It's just we need a little bit more monitoring with that one. It's, we started off very slow and there's potential for a reaction to it. So when we have you in a stretcher, that way yeah. there's less easier to access. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. All right. Okay. So these are the good pills for now. Yes. Little white ones, dexamethasone. Uh, yellow ones are on dance, which are Okay. Uh, yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, if I take them all on. How would you like? First time you took a pill shot, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do one at a time. Yes. I don't know how you do. You look like daddy, right? Five? Five. Five. Like I have to crush my pills before I take them. <laughs> No, my first surgery. Well, you can right do everything through my right arm because there's blockage in my left arm from the tumor. Okay. Do you have swelling? Um, I did initially. Um, I don't anymore, but uh, all the blood tests and everything have been through my right arm. Okay. That warms up your arm. Yeah. So it makes the veins kind of like expand a little bit. You're the expert now, right? Eh? Okay. I guess you're used to being pop now. So what I'm gonna do? Oh, it's always two nurse check. Okay, and then I'm gonna get you to check to make sure that we do have the right name and birth date here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. These drugs are sensitive to sunlight, so we can put them in or light and brown bags. They're all gonna go in through this? Yeah. Or do I need a separate focus? Yeah. Okay. That's one big uh, syringe. Someone makes their follow. Yikes. Yeah. That, well, the devil. what do they call it? Oh, the devil, yeah. That makes sense. That's a, <laughs> it's a proper name. Fitting. <laughs> Fitting. Wow. 
How are you feeling? Good. Yeah. I don't feel anything really, so that's good. So you got some tea? What kind of tea did you get? Lemon thriller. Oh wow, you feel thrilled? Take a sip. Let me know, do you feel thrilled? Mm, so thrilled. So oh, I bet. Alright, Meg's at channel 9. Give us a quick update. Five minutes left and we're done though for day one of chemo round one. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, just finished half of round one of my first chemo. So 5.5 more rounds to go. Today was pretty quick. I was only in there for about two and a half hours. Tomorrow's will be a little longer. It should be about, I think they said a full day almost. Overall, I feel pretty good, surprisingly. I do feel a little drowsy and I do feel like my sinuses are a little clogged, which is actually a common side effect of one of the drugs that I got today. So I only got about half of the dose of my full chemo treatment today. First, I got the doxorubicin, which is called the red devil. Unfortunately, the one that makes your hair fall off. Then I got cyclophosphamine. And then the last one that I got today was vincristine. So I will get the rest of my R-chop tomorrow while I'm in. I actually did not end up getting the pick today. They wanted to do the first round of chemo just like in my veins through needle. So it wasn't even that bad. I just got like one little poke and then everything kind of went in through that needle. I think it'll be the same thing tomorrow. They may actually even be reconsidering giving me a pick just because my treatment will be once every 21 days. So once every three weeks, meaning that having a pick might not be needed, but I think I'll discuss that more with the nurse tomorrow. Also, we were told at one point while we were filming that we needed to stop filming or kind of film different angles just because of other patients' privacy. So from now on, we're gonna try to be a little more discreet with filming. We're still gonna try to get as much as we can. However, just yeah, keeping other people out of it. Some nurses and doctors are totally fine with being on camera with us, others a little less. So we'll try to get as much as we can. And if anything, it might just be some weird angles, but we'll still, we'll still keep you all in the loop. So stay tuned for the second part of my first chemo treatment, which will be tomorrow. <laughs> Day two of my first treatment of chemo is almost done. Today I got the drug called rituximab, which is the R in R-CHOP. 
I needed to be in a hospital bed as you can kind of see uh, just because this drug is so strong and people tend to really have an allergic reaction to it that they want to A put it in very slowly and B have me laying down while they put it in. So today's stream was long. I've been here for about six and a half hours. Um, when I got here first thing in the morning they gave me a bunch of uh, allergy medications such as Benadryl and another type of steroid that was supposed to prevent a possible allergic reaction. Unfortunately, about an hour into my treatment, I did develop a small allergic reaction. My throat kind of got very clogged and my skin was very red, flushed, and very hot. Right away, they took me off the rituximab. They gave me some more Benadryl and another type of anti-allergy medication. That made me very drowsy. I fell asleep for about two hours and then they slowly started giving me the rituximab again at a much lower dose and then they slowly increased it every half an hour for me. So we're almost done. Um, I have my little IV here. We're just cleaning out the veins and I should be ready to go home in about 20 minutes. So I'd say that so far round one of chemo has been okay. Definitely not as bad as I thought it would be, but it's also not the most fun. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching and please share my video to spread awareness. Thank you.